All right, guys, we can get started with this on one live webinar. I really appreciate everyone joining me today. Thanks so much. Um, so today we're basically going to go over um, kind of the top 10 participants in the black and white photo contest. We're not going to go over every single photo. Um, it is up. So if you guys want to go to the black and white photo contest right now, you can look at all of the awesome um, submissions that they have uh, entered. There's so many amazing, amazing submissions and uh, there's about 565 of you that voted. So it's super cool to see kind of the increase in participants and uh, participating. Uh, really awesome job on these shots. I can't say enough. Um, they were just spectacular photographs. Uh, you guys, guys do an amazing job shooting, composing, editing. Um, beautiful, beautiful job. Um, one thing I was going to mention in this webinar is there were a couple um, hiccups in the past with the contest and stuff. And this one, uh, another example of a couple hiccups, but there were a couple duplicate photos and some people entered some colored shots. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go over how to enter and kind of how the contest works. Um, and that way for the future webinars, we are, we're all kind of on the same page. Um, and then we can, uh, these can run a little bit more smooth. So, all right. So basically I'm just going to go through here. And so when we open the contest, the contest usually open on Sundays, uh, we'll open the contest. You can submit your entries into the contest up until Wednesday, usually that Wednesday at five, it'll say it in the rules, but it's primarily going to be Wednesday at five, that next Wednesday at 5 PM. Um, that you can submit your photographs. So from that Sunday when we open the contest to 5 p.m. on Wednesday, that's when you can enter your photograph. And you can only enter one photograph per person. So if you're in a family, you can enter, each person can enter an image. You know, if you're like a wife and husband that go and shoot uh, wildlife photography, you each can enter a photograph, just one per person. Um, and with that being said, if you do enter a photograph, make sure your name is in the metadata or it's in the file name when you enter it. Uh, that's just to keep track. So we, we're making sure that not many people are uh, entering duplicate photos or they're entering multiple photographs. Just trying to make it fair for everybody when they're voting and they're participating. So basic run through Sunday, the contest is going to open. Then we're going to have the submissions. So the submissions are going to go through uh, Wednesday at 5 PM Pacific time. We're in Portland, Oregon. So it's 95% uh, of the time going to be Pacific time uh, over here. Uh, I mean, it's obviously going to be that hundred percent of the time over here, but the contest may switch depending on uh, rules and stuff. I'm not sure. But primarily, it's going to be Pacific time uh, that we hold the contest. So 5 p.m. is when you can, uh, up until then, you can enter your photograph. And then after that, that's when the voting uh, period commences. So that's when you can start voting on your favorite photograph. Now, to keep it fair, again, you can only vote for one photograph. So vote for your favorite for the one image. So out of all of the images, you can for one shot and they're not just sitting there adding a few of their shots that they like. You know what I mean? You got to vote for your favorite image of the entire contest. Um, so those are the rules basically. Um, oh, so the voting period. So the voting period will go from Wednesday uh, at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And then we'll go to that Friday up until about noon. Um, depending on uh, the webinar schedule on Friday, we may it may be a little longer of a voting period or a little show, shorter, but just know that Wednesday at 5 p.m. you should start voting for your favorite images or you should see all of the images in there and you can vote for your favorite one. Um, yeah, so those are kind of the rules of the contest. And then uh, let's go through here and I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can enter. Uh, so really quick, all you do to enter, actually I'll just open this up real quick. Okay, so now if you want to add a new image, so say you've seen the contest, you're like, oh, I want to participate in the contest. Just go to this, uh, this right here, this link. It's going to be pollunit.com slash polls slash BW or motion or whatever uh, theme we're doing that week. All right, cool. So now if you want to add a photo, you'll go to this link and it will have here, it'll say add photo, or you can click on this thing and you can click add photo. So wherever you're at in this link, whether you're, you know, scrolling around here and you see your shot or see a shot, um, you can always click this little button here, this little hamburger button right here, right there and click add photo. And that's where you submit your image. So right here, you know, you type in your name, blah, blah, blah. And then you make sure that the files are yours and then uh, select the file and then you save it. And that's all you have to do to enter your shot. Uh, literally just do that when you enter your shot. Keep in mind that you can only enter one time and if someone votes on your image, you can't delete it. So um, because there's a lot of images, just make sure that you enter the correct image that you want to upload. Um, of course, I'm always here if you 
um, mess something up, I can go through and kind of tweak things a bit. But um, just read the rules and then kind of upload accordingly. Um, and that's about all you have to do to enter your photograph. Now to vote on your image. So the voting will open. And if you want to vote on your photograph, all you have to do is just click on the check mark here. Just click on the check mark and it will vote for that image. Well, it'll, it'll, so if you click this, now you'll get a little thing down here that says save and finish. So this is just saying save my vote and then finish my session right here. Um, I'm not going to click that uh, because I'm not voting, but uh, if you do want to vote, that's how you vote on the contest. You just go in here, find your photograph, click on the little green check mark, and you're good to go. You voted on your photograph again. Please vote on your absolute favorite. I know there's going to be a ton of images. We keep growing, it seems, in each contest. So there's going to be a lot of participants. Um, yeah, just vote for your absolute favorite image uh, of the contest. Cool. So now that you know the kind of the rules, um, we're, we're again, we're getting the hang of this. It's, it's new on my end as well. We're just starting this. It's only about a month in. So um, it's going a lot more smoothly than it has in the past. So this is awesome. Uh, now we can get started here. And all, all I'm going to do for this webinar is basically we're going to show the uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <laughs> uh, and then we'll show the top three at the end. And the top three winners win the grand prizes and win a lot of grant or a big grand prize this month, a $50 gift card. Each grand prize winner wins a $50 grand prize, $50 gift card grand prize. And also uh, the 360 pack Creative Lutz so that you can get creative and start modifying a bunch of your shots. Uh, 50 bucks should get you some awesome camera gear. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So let's, let's jump in here. And you can, I don't know if you can from your end see the um, evaluation to see the images. If you can, you probably see winners already. But if you haven't, this is cool because you're going to see a bunch of new awesome photographs. Um, so this is number four. This was the fourth pick of the contest here. Was this awesome shot? And I'm not sure who shot the photograph. I only downloaded the, the top three. Uh, made sure that in their names were in the metadata. They're all different winners. Um, but yeah, this is the um, number four of our contest. Beautiful, beautiful photograph of the Great Wall of China. Uh, I love the black, I mean, black and white with this scene is just perfect. We're really just focused on these textures here. These people, kind of the light gleaming in here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful scene here. I love the shot. Uh, whoever shot this, beautiful, beautiful job. Um, yeah, great job. Keep participating. Um, we're, again, we're going to have more black and white contests in the future. We're going to have these every single week. So um, if you missed out on this black and white one, we'll definitely have one in the future. Uh, just stay tuned. Keep, uh, keep jumping into them. So that was number four. And then we have number five here with this creative uh, sort of uh, partnership with McDonald's. I think they may have been watching a little bit too many episodes of McMillions after making this shot, but uh, super cool uh, composite here with putting our logo, our old logo on the McDonald's cup. Um, great shot, great idea, super creative. Uh, good job. That's number five. And then we have number six, um, this wonderful shot of uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, this was kind of a standout for me in the competition. Love this photograph. Uh, I love the mood here. I love the dark foreground. And then it leads into the silhouette of the sailboat um, and as well as, as well as these birds. Anytime you can put um, birds in a black and white photograph, whether they're flying into the scene, flying out of the scene, um, it just makes for an awesome shot. Great job, whoever shot this photograph. And then we have number four, five, six, wait, four, yeah, wait. Yep, seven. Sorry, I am bad at counting today. Uh, so number seven here, this beautiful photograph of these old um, kind of decayed keys. Uh, I wonder where this was at, because it must have been like an old abandoned building or something, but super cool shot. I love the, the black and white is obviously the um, perfect look for this type of scene. Um, we're really just focused on these textures in here of the keys and the leaves in here. Uh, it's really cool, this juxtaposition of like usually pianos are like clean and they're white. There's only like three colors. They're kind of that brown, black, and white. And now we have all of these different colors, or not really colors, but textures and tones on uh, them. Really cool shot. Great job. And then we have this really cool shot of um, a pelican. Or no, not a pelican. Toucan. Sorry, a toucan. <laughs> a toucan, I think. Um, really great shot. Uh, the textures on this are just superb. I love the detail on the eye right here. Um, whoever shot this, 
obviously pays attention to the focusing on wildlife photography. If you're shooting wildlife, get their eyes sharp as you can. The eyes are 90% um, of the time the most important part of shooting wildlife. So really amazing job here. Um, and just the, the, and even the title, the title is Yin and Yang. Um, so awesome title, really cool vibe here. Um, how we go from white and then it's almost like a perfect line. It's almost like a, someone graphically went in here um, with Photoshop and did a little masking right there and made that black and then made this like great job. Really great job. Okay, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nine. We have nine now. This amazing shot of Sydney Harbor Bridge um, in Australia. Uh, really great job. Uh, the vibe here with the moodiness of the clouds, um, these really striking dramatic clouds up here, and then this just huge monstrosity of like a, an architectural uh, wonder. Just a really amazing job here. I love the textures. I like how you added these people to here for kind of some context to kind of anchor our, our eyes here because I can always kind of go back here and know how big this bridge is. It always gives me a, a good idea of how big this bridge is because it's a huge, huge element into the scene. Um, really awesome job. And especially the leading lines here too. You have these leading lines here leading into the frame. Um, really great job, whoever shot that photograph. And then we have number 10 here um, of this old man and his dog. Beautiful shot here. I think it's composited of the background out of it to just kind of add this, this blurry effect to it. Really awesome job with the, the mood of the shot. And I love the, the composition, how you have his eyes looking to the left. That's perfect because he's a little bit to the right in the scene. So if you had him to the left over here and he was looking, it looked a little wonky. Um, so uh, superb job, uh, great job, great shots. Uh, yeah, those are the kind of the runner ups, if you will, in the black and white photo contest. And then we have the top three. I couldn't open them up in Photo Raw for some reason, um, but there is a story to the last one. The third winner had something in the metadata. So basically I'm gonna just show the winners in my finder. I'm sorry guys, I can't open up my uh, thing. So let me share this, let me see if I can share finder. All right, so we have this. All right, so without further ado, I'll open up the first one here. And I believe this one was, uh, let's go back here. Well, anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful shot, um, beautiful portrait, beautiful black and white. The detail on this is superb. And the smoke over here, um, everything in the shot is just amazing. I'm, there's no wonder it won. Uh, great, great job. Um, I think it was, I'm just going to go back. I think it was Flavius Christie who shot this photograph. Um, let me just go back and I'll share uh, photo raw. Yeah, so it was Flavius. Uh, great job, man. Really good shot. Uh, love the black and white here. Uh, where was that photograph at? There we go. Great job, Flavius. Um, this is our first place winner. Um, tons of comments or tons of votes on this photograph. So really good job, Flavius, with the mood the texture, uh, great, great job. And then we'll share back to Photo Raw. Our second place winner is Jock's, Jock Montel. Um, and with this photograph, so I'll share it in just a sec here. I just gotta open it up. Okay, um, let me know if you guys can see this one. Uh, it should be uh, kind of a street scene here, this beautiful shadow line kind of driving our eye into this really crazy sun um, gleaming in here. I hope you guys can see. Okay, cool. You guys can see it. Awesome. Well, yeah, this is Jacques Montel. Uh, beautiful entry, Jacques. Uh, love the scene here. I love the shadowing here. The shadowing in here is uh, superb. And then the textures on this foreground just are wonderful in this shot. I also really like the light hitting this door. Every kind of little little nuance you can get with a little pop of light in here on these black and whites is really just gonna draw your eye kind of around the frame a bit more. So really amazing job here, Jock. Uh, yeah, great job, man. Um, okay, cool. All right, guys, so we can move on to the second or the third place winner. Whoops, we'll share the photo raw. Um, and I don't, I don't know why I can't open these up in Photo Raw. They're right here. I can just, but all I can see is the, the author. So this one is Anis Abin Martin. 
Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm not sure. Uh, again, let me know if you guys can see this okay, if you guys are seeing uh, my screen okay, because there's a little story about the description that I wanted to read to you guys. Uh, and also, if you guys do want to add in a little description to your photograph, just in case if you win, um, it can kind of tell the, the audience like what they're looking at. That'd be cool. Uh, this uh, Honest Abin Martin put that one in here. So I'm just going to read this real quick. Um, hopefully, you guys can still see the shot. Um, but the shot says, um, the sky at the end of the Volcania Cone, 28 meters high, the building symbolizes volcanoes. Its interior walls have been treated with titan titanium vapor, creating an astonishing contrast and a beautiful golden color reminiscent of the conflagration of the volcano. Uh, really cool description and awesome job with your photograph. Um, really good job. I mean, all of these were just superb, superb images. Um, yeah, great job, especially um, good job to everyone who entered. If you didn't win, um, keep entering. Um, we're gonna have these every week, so everyone should have a, you know, at least a chance to win a little bit of a prize. So. Uh, yeah, great job, guys. I really appreciate it. If you did win and you are watching this, just uh, DM us on any of our social media or uh, you can contact customer support with your email. I just need your email and then I can send your prizes to you. So yeah, with that being said, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. We're just going to keep it short and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, hanging around and seeing the winners and the amazing photographs. If you didn't uh, get a chance to check out the page of the photograph submissions, go back to, um, I'll share it again. So you guys can see Google Chrome. So uh, yeah, if you go back, I'll, I'll, I'll take off the adding so you can't actually add any more photographs, but you can go through here and see all of these submissions. It's just pollunit.com slash en slash poll slash bw.